हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 971 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक ऑफ द लेक्चर इज द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ ब्यूटाइल रबर सो इन द इंडस्ट्रियल मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ ब्यूटाइल रबर द रॉ मटेरियल व्हाट वी आर टेकिंग इज आइसोब्यूटाइलिन एंड दैट इज 97 परसेंट दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड ब्यूटाइल रबर एंड थ्री परसेंट वी आर मिक्सिंग आइसोप्रीन और ब्यूटाडाइन एंड दिस मिक्सचर इज डिजॉल्व इन मिथाइल क्लोराइड एंड टेम्परेचर इज मेंटेन फ्रॉम 95 फाइव टू वन हंड्रेड फाइव माइनस माइनस नाइन्टी फाइव टू माइनस दैट इज वन हंड्रेड फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर एंड इन दैट टेम्परेचर इट विल बी को पोलिमराइज and here there is no chance of uh, emulsion polymerization and this rubber since it is having isoprene uh, percentage and that's why the unsaturation is less because the isoprene unit is only up uh, to 3% and because of that uh, since double bond is less it is uh, its tensile strength is strong and it is not affected by oxidizing agent the atmosphere oxygen cannot oxidize it and it is impermeable this is the best uh, quality of this rubber that is butyl rubber it is impermeable to liquid as well as air that's why uh, this rubber that is your butyl rubber is mainly used to manufacture our car tubes and also uh, tubeless tires gasket and some other important uh, goods because of its uh, good quality of impermeable to air and uh, liquid so butyl rubber as you know that butyl rubber is copolymer and that is uh, isobutylene 97% percent and 3% percent isoprene means or we can say uh, that is butadiene and this rubber is having very good quality of uh, resisting uh, the heat ozone oxygen and it cannot be vulcanized to hardness because it is having less amount of unsaturation that double bond because the quantity of isoprene is uh, less so all these factors i have given here number 1 butyl rubber is copolymer of uh, isobutylene and isoprene units and is manufactured from copolymerization of 97% isobutylene that is cs3 twice c double bond cs2 and uh, 3% isoprene uh, this is the isoprene in it that is c5h8 or butadiene isoprene butadiene is uh, added to uh, introduce the necessary ethylene linkages for vulcanization and number 2 the butyl rubber is neither emulsion polymerization nor at ordinary temperature it requires extra ordinary temperature minus 97 to 105 degree centigrade temperature Uh, no usual catalyst is used uh, in its uh, manufacture the monomers are dissolved in methyl chloride uh, and the reaction is allowed to take place in presence of catalyst between minus 95 degree centigrade to minus 105 degree centigrade and due to small proportion of isoprene units the percentage of carbon carbon double bond is very little that is unsaturation is very uh, little in butyl uh, rubber the arrangement of these monomers in the chain of polymer is regular hence interchain forces are high as a result the tensile strength is also high so since it is uniformly regularly arranged and it is having less quantity of unsaturation as carbon carbon a uh, double bond because of that reason that is interchain forces are strong 
and because of that interchain forces to chain like acyclin unit and the other one is that isobutyl units they are regularly arranged and the forces are strong because of that uh, this butyl rubber is having high tensile strength because of the a uh, high as result the tensile strength is also high uh, because of low degree of unsaturation butyl rubber is resistant to oxidation uh, due to its uh, properties and its impermeability to air and gases it is very good quality and impermeable to air and gases that's why this rubber is widely used to manufacture tubeless tires and inner tubes for automobile and some other automobile uh, parts also like gasket or some other uh, parts uh, gases uh, it is uh, frequently used in the manufacture of inner tubes and automobile parts it can be vulcanized but cannot be hardened because of the less unsaturation percentage in it uh, it has excellent electrical insulation insulating property and it has high resistance to oxidation in presence of oxygen and ozone and it is soluble in hydrocarbon like uh, benzene So next one is that is the manufacture of thiopole rubber, and thiopole rubber is manufactured by uh, reacting the dichloro ethylene with sodium uh, tetrasulfide, and this uh, gives the polysulfide rubber that is known as polysulfide rubber. So thiopole uh, is the condensation polymer. Uh, which is obtained by the reaction between sodium tetrasulfide and ethylene chloride and this reaction results in a uh, bond being formed between the sulfur and carbon atoms and uh, so that uh, sulfur and carbon uh, atom formation of the bond here carbon and sulfur they are uh, forming the bond and uh, as long chain and that is called polymer molecule so here your ethylene dichloride molecule and this sodium tetrasulfide molecule they will react and you will get the polymer molecule of uh, this chain uh, thiopol has good tensile strength uh, because the polymer chains show uh, sufficient regularity to crystalline on stretching thiopol can be manufactured in a wide variety of hardness uh, vulcanization of uh, polymer is not carried out with sulfur uh, because polymer chain is not unsaturated and sulfur uh, will not uh, react with uh, polymer unless there is unsaturation I mean only then we can polymerize uh, I mean vulcanize with uh, sulfur uh, hence it is not hard rubber for the vulcanization Active metal oxide like zinc oxide uh, are used. Sulfur has the ability to react with uh, zinc oxide and as a result interlinks the chain into a network. Uh, chemically, they are most oil resistant and unaffected by sunlight. Uh, Thiopole rubbers have poor physical properties such as poor strength and poor abrasion resistance uh, thiopoles are mainly used for seals gaskets and it is also used uh, as a solid propellant fuel for the uh, rocket motors
So as I have already told you uh, previously that all these rubbers what I am discussing nowadays, they are very special type of uh, rubbers like thiocol and like uh, butyl rubber and some others and next, in the next lecture I am going to discuss about the silicon rubber and they are used for special purposes also and they are very important in automobile industry uh, to manufacture tubeless tires, inner tubes, gaskets, all this uh, material. So once again, thank you very much for watching the uh, lecture.